live from the high side chemical world headquarters again. Um, we are not going to pull a fire permit again, but we need to put aluminum and copper together. Uh, this is becoming a more common uh, combination in the HVAC, the plumbing, and industrial world. Um, aluminum is very affordable, it's lightweight, and it's being used more and more common. Um, most of our infrastructure in the HVAC industry and in the plumbing industry is copper. It's been the standard for many, many years. So the question becomes, how do you put copper and aluminum together um, without having issue? Um, aluminum is a great product. Uh, the melting point on aluminum is about 1200 degrees. Um, the lowest temperature solder that I know of is about 750. So in the field trying to de decipher the, between 750 degrees and 1200 to 1400 degrees is not very easy. So you get a lot of blowout with aluminum. Most people will have real trouble working with aluminum. So we're going to make this union right here. And if you'll notice, uh, we have put a hole in this piece of copper and there'll be a hole in this piece of aluminum as well because we're going to repair those holes in just a few minutes as well. So in uh, keeping with what we've done before, just for copper, uh, comes in a kit with the 60 grit sandpaper. We're going to use the same process we did with the brass uh, to copper and we're going to sand in one direction, create grooves basically, and we're not going to clean that off. Okay. And again, the reason is we want to leave that residue on there. Those dust particles will aid in the bonding process between the aluminum and the, brass, the copper, I'm sorry. So we're going to go inside the aluminum fitting. And I'm going to uh, emphasize one other thing for you that's very, very critical in making just for copper work. And that is the actual fit itself between the two pieces of metal. It needs to slide on there easily and be able to move without being too loose. Feel how that, see how that rubs a little bit? That's the exact fit that you want because whenever we apply just for copper, we need to be able to remove the oxygen from between the two metals. That actually starts the anaerobic process that bonds these two metals together. All right. And we're going to do just as before and we're going to put just for copper on the male side. And again, you can touch it. It's safe for potable water. It's oil soluble, so getting it on you, it's not an epoxy, it's not a glue, so it's absolutely nothing to remove it. Put it on the male side, then we're going to go to the female side and put some inside here. It's okay to be liberal with your application. It's not going to hurt a thing. Now, there we go. We'll give it a little twist. And there you can see the hole that we put in there too. Um, here's the unique thing about this product. Once it's put together, as long as it has oxygen on the product, it's going to remain a liquid. So it's going to be easy to wipe off, very, very easy to clean up. You're going to have clean joints. You're going to have consistent seals between the two metals. Um, you're not going to have to worry about fire. You're not going to have to worry about burning the house down or burning a stud in an antique home. Uh, or even pulling a, a fire permit in a government uh, building. Um, and the cleanup is going to be very, very easy because like I said, it's going to stay liquid. You'll just be able to wipe it right off the material. And uh, whenever you're using aluminum, you might want to give it just a couple extra minutes to set. Uh, but in just a few seconds, that bonding process is going to start just like that right there and you can continue on with your work. Um, again, this is a permanent repair. This is not temporary. Uh, good to um, 1200 PSI and 250 degrees. So most materials, most, most even industries handle are well below 200 degrees and you're going to be absolutely fine with this, uh, using this as a everyday application, um, not just a specialized application. If you don't like to solder, if you have young apprentices that are working uh, and working in the plumbing and HVAC industry, this is a great product for them to use. If you're doing copper or brass art, uh, another way to do this without having to mess with solder and having to clean up just for copper makes that for you. Again, I'm going to show you real quick. 
that bond is starting to take place. Um, I'm not saying it's totally cured right now. It'd be take 20 minutes to get that 700 PSI bond. Uh, but right now that bond is complete enough that we can continue working and, uh, and, and finish the job and be ready to go home in just minutes. By the time you get the torches out, go find some silver solder that you'll already have this bond made and be well on your way. So find you some just for copper. Um, it's available at Ace Hardware, True Value, Do It Best locations um, throughout the United States. Uh, ask for it by name. Call us here at Highside Kim, 228-896-9220. Uh,